Okay, what we're going to do today, guys, we're going to go over how to use a basic manual antenna tuner. I had some clarification from MFJ. <laughs> um, I had the radio going into an SWR meter into a tuner. Uh, had a couple questions about that. So MFJ said really just to go radio, tuner, antenna. Eliminate the SWR meter. I've seen a lot of videos out there where gentlemen have had an SWR meter in line. They said this model, the SWR meter is pretty, pretty good. This is the uh, MFJ941 Echo, version T or 2. So what we've been doing is just going from the radio to the tuner out to the coax. Of course you're eliminating a jumper in a device so that's always a good thing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go on a frequency. We're going to go on low power. We're going to set this out to low power. I have one coax in line, which would be considered a tune coax. We're going to try to tune it here. And what you want to do, basically, rule of thumb, bring your transmitter up to five, bring your antenna up to five. Um, the inductor, I don't know what it's going to be on this frequency, but I'll show you how easy it is to find out. So you want to put your, uh, you want to put your rig in, uh, we have an Olinko here, SR18. You want to put your rig into a mode where you can throw a carrier at low power. So I have AM power, low. I want a clear frequency. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to key up. I'm going to watch over here. Well, what you have here is your forward, which is your power, and you have your reflected here. You want to get your reflected as low as you can to get most power out of the radio. That will keep your uh, radio running cooler and, of course, put more power to the antenna. Now, so to do this, you will key up. And as you see, we have a lot of uh, reflection here. Okay? So we're going to start with the inductor. And I'm going to go over here to the inductor and just play with the knobs. And you can see it went way up here. And we went to K, and it came way down. I'll show you that over here. See how low it is? That's with K on the inductance. So what you want to usually do is start with the antenna and the transmitter in the center. And now we want to see if we can get this actually lower. So right now we're at about a 1.3 SWR. We're running most of all of our power out through the antenna, which is good. I could leave it like that if I want to, okay. but I want to see if I can get a little lower. So I'm going to start with the transmitter side. I'm just slowly going to turn it to the right. As you see it went up, I turn it to the left, it's starting to go down. So I want to continue for it to go down until it dips. Right there's a dip. Right there's the dip. And then it starts going back up. So I'll unkey, wait about five seconds. Now I'm going to go over here to the antenna side and I'm going to go ahead and see if we can't get that a little lower. I'll put the camera over here. I'm going to turn the antenna side and you will see that's going up and it's going down. I will unkey. Try it a little more on the antenna side. There it is, right down the bottom. All of our power is pretty much going out the antenna now. Go back to the transmitter. We'll key a little bit more, see if we can get any lower. Just playing with the knobs a little here. See it went lower again. And then it came up. Right there. Right there is the lowest I can get it. Okay. So almost all the power from the radio is going out. We have no reflected. And all our forward, all our power is going out the antenna. So this would be a good tune on your antenna for that frequency. Now, say we go up to a couple other frequencies here. I'm going to go to a higher frequency. And I'm going to go to a clear frequency where nobody is. Okay. Now, this is a different frequency here than I'm on. Nobody's up there. Okay. Go to AM mode. Now, this is going to be different because we definitely went up a good amount. We do our key up, and as you can see, 
our reflections back up. Okay, so we'll play with the inductor first. Started to come down a little bit there, and there we go. So again on K, K brings our inductance pretty much down. We're going to center these. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start with the transmitter. And you will see here when I start with the transmitter, that's going to come down. We're at a 1.5, basically a 1.5 SWR now, creeping down about a 1.3. Now we're going to go over here to the antenna side. And it's dipping, and then it pops back up right there so about five and a half on the antenna about one and a three quarters on the tuner transmitter is giving me an SWR of about 1.2 a little bit of reflection see if we can get it down a little more there we go right there is about a one point We have a 1.2 SWR right there. 1.2, full power out, no reflection. So what you can do if you wish to is make yourself a chart. 28360 would be 0K 5.5. The other frequency would be K 5.5, 5.5. So if you have a tuned antenna on a frequency without the tuner, of course, you can just go here and go to your coax. You have coax 1, coax 2, you have a balance line. That's bypass, and this is 2. So since this antenna was very much off, we only used that on this frequency on coax 1, 2. But see, we went down to a lower frequency. We already had a 1, 1 SWR, 1, 5 SWR on the same antenna. You can just go to bypass to that antenna and not have to worry about tuning it. So. That's your basics of using the antenna tuner. Um, again, from what MFJ is saying, you don't need an external, you don't need an external SWR meter in line with these because they say that this is pretty accurate. So we'll run it like this for a while and see how it does. The radio doesn't get warm, <laughs> so I don't think you know it's a false reading. And you know, we've transmitted like this for a couple of days. So hope this was helpful on how to use a manual MFJ antenna tuner and uh, this model here will do up to 300 watts it'll handle 300 watts input and uh, that's pretty much you know all you need to start out with unless you're in a big power you get a bigger bigger tuners so hope this is helpful